and I was curious about how these kind of incidents are handled on campus. So I went to the Riley Center. And here I talked to St. Bonaventure's Director for Sexual Assault and Violence Education and the Charleston Classic. But four of the five starters still have an extra year of eligibility. So I asked Holmes and Oshuni if they plan to use that extra year for one last dance. Tom Fitzgerald spent most of his time as a Bonnie here on the bench, just another member of the team. But after he left the Riley Center, he found playing time on a much bigger stage. Close they could get to the court where the players are. And it was no different in Capital One Arena for the A-10 tournament. That's why it was such a shock when Nesbitt approached the cheerleaders. I'm just outside Capital One Arena where the Bonnies are set to take on the Billikens this afternoon in the Atlantic 10 tournament quarterfinals. Now, I made the trip down here yesterday and was able to catch up with a lot of fans and I can tell you they are very excited for this game. Take a look. In a 58-page suit, Flores accuses the league of being racially segregated and, quote, like a plantation. Flores says he was discriminated by the league and some of its owners and managers while applying for the head coaching job of the New York Giants, claiming that the organization only interviewed him to satisfy the Rooney Rule, an order that requires teams to interview minority candidates for certain positions, including head coach. The NFL says Flores' claims are, quote, without merit. Break it. State lawmakers failed to pass this year's budget. Again, here we are on March 31st, and uh, we don't have the budget bills. Uh. How will this impact our community? And when will you see this year's budget pass? Plus, 13 buses left St. Bonaventure Tuesday, bound for Madison Square Garden. But only 11 made it, with two breaking down on the side of the road. We bring you up to speed on how SBU is handling this disastrous trip. And despite troubles getting there, Bonnie's fans filled up the garden with an impressive show. SBU TV brings you the full MSG experience right to your screen. Go Bonnie! SBU TV starts right now. She just says, shut up, bitch. Maya Henderson is the St. Bonaventure cheerleader seen in this viral video after an A-10 quarterfinal matchup between St. Bonaventure and St. Louis. The video is the aftermath of a heated confrontation. And then probably like five minutes later, not game time, regular time, he does it again, and this time like he calls all whores. Henderson accuses St. Louis guard Jordan Nesbitt of verbally harassing her and her teammates during the second half of the game. He waits kind of is like walking towards us, and then our coach is standing in front of us, we're all beh standing behind her, and he looks at her and says, fight me, C word. The video you're seeing was posted to Twitter and shows what happened next. Henderson and her coach visibly upset, walking away from the St. Louis bench. Whenever the Bonnies play, the cheerleaders are right here on the baseline, supporting the team throughout the game. And you can see how close they can get to the court where the players are. And it was no different in Capital One Arena for the A-10 tournament. That's why it was such a shock when Nesbitt approached the cheerleaders. But I just was saying, like, you're so out of line. Like, how, why are you saying this? Blah, blah, blah. And the security guards are standing back. Like, they're almost, they're walking away from the situation as it's escalating. Barb Cuesta. Deputy Director of Athletics at St. Bonaventure said both SBU and St. Louis are handling the incidents, quote, internally. Wednesday, A-10 Commissioner Bernadette McGlade told me the conference is, quote, looking into it. Brian Kunderman, Assistant Director of Athletics at St. Louis, did not respond to my request for comment. St. Bonaventure is yet to release an official statement. For SBU TV, I'm Rich Williams. We couldn't ask any more from St. Bonaventure. And then for what they've done now, and this remembrance and the donors, we're so happy. Mm -hmm. Thursday, St. Bonaventure dedicated its School of Health Professions to the late Dr. Dennis R. DePierre, 21st president of the university at the San Damiano Great Room in Francis Hall. Over 150 family, friends, students, and staff attended the dedication, including his older brother, Rich. All of us are, our whole family, and his sons and Sherry, they were just taken back by just it's just a beautiful day, a beautiful, beautiful remembrance for a wonderful guy. In addition to having the School of Health Professions named after him, the late DePiro was also awarded an honorary degree at the request of the class of 2022. The award is a culmination of a lifelong love for St. Bonaventure. You know, he loved this university. He loved it as a kid. He loved it. We all love St. Bonaventure. Bonaventure, I mean, every conversation you had with him centered around the college, the university, and the, you know, how the things that they were doing here to, you know, build a, a bolder St. Bonaventure. In just five years, the School of Health Professions has grown to 158 undergraduates and 74 graduate students. 
Dr. Dennis DePiro passed away in March 2020 after a battle with COVID-19. His legacy at Bonaventure now remembered at the School of Health Professions. For SBU TV, I'm Rich Williams. Gay marriage is, on the, is outside of the government of God. These are comments made by Joel Witcher, That's principal of Olean of Middle School, and his wife Pam, who is co-pastor with him at Fresh system. Fire Worship Center. Posted on Facebook, the video of his sermons upset students and parents about his beliefs. These comments led parents and students to protest Tuesday at the school board meeting. I'm outside Olean High School where people gathered Tuesday night to protest comments made by Witcher. I spoke to some of those protesters to get a sense of why they came out. We don't have a system that's set up to protect our citizens and in particular our students from abusive statements from people who are supposed to be in leadership over them. Um, I don't want my, I raised my kids, my grandkids to be accepting of everyone and the message that this principal is putting out there is not, not that. Other only in community members did attend the board meeting to express their support for the principal. I did reach out to Mr. Witcher multiple times through phone call and email, but he did not respond. Only in school superintendent Rick Moore declined to comment on the situation, citing it as an employee matter. And Wednesday, students held their own protest after school. They've also created a petition to have Mr. Witcher removed from his position. The petition currently has over 1,700 signatures. For SBU TV, I'm Rich Williams. If you have driven through St. Bonaventure's campus this week, you may have noticed a bit of construction happening. The university is putting in a new St. Bonaventure sign and a patio to go along. For many years, the St. Bonaventure hedges were a staple of campus, but in 2017, they were taken down to the dismay of some alumni. It's really nice that people kind of hang out in that lawn area, but I don't know, it's more just like an aesthetic thing. Just You just like knew it was just like it was there, I guess. Daniel McLaughlin graduated from St. Bonaventure in 2017, and at first he was disappointed that the bushes were removed. But he's excited to see what the new patio will bring. It would be nice, like pretty cool to walk around and see like the new the new patio. McLaughlin is not the only alumni who is excited about the addition. Many took to social media to share their support as well. And just behind me is where the sign and patio are being built right now. I did talk to Tom Missile from the university to gauge some more specifics about the project. Probably a little better um, since, oh, probably by middle of June uh, on, a, on a clear definitive uh, end date. The new sign and patio are one of former President Dr. Dennis DePiro's final projects on campus before he passed away this past March. You know, it, it will be, in a sense, a nice tribute to him, even though his name's not on it. Um, it was one of the one of the last things he really put his, his John Hancock on, so to speak. With SBU TV, I'm Rich Williams.